Wow, what do we got here? Jeez. We got a printer. It's printing some paper out. I wonder what Well, I wonder what that is. That's a That's an estimate. Wow. So, what we're looking at here, we're looking at time consuming, okay? We're looking at a lot of time consuming situations here, okay? Uh that's right. We got to write the estimates out. We got to, uh, let me go ahead and click out on that. There you go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's my dream, dream house right there. That's where I want to live. Moab, Utah. Gosh. trying to say here okay yeah that's a printer and those are invoices and that's estimates that you got to write out see that's part of the job now that little estimate that's printing out right there okay that little estimate that's printing out okay just uh, between you and me okay anybody else watching okay just between you and me okay uh, I've been sitting at this fucking computer now for uh, three hours three hours to precisely, okay, estimate what it's going to take to finish out a job in our shop. The job that we're talking about is our 1961 GMC truck, okay? Because we got to a stage, we got to a point in our truck that uh, the owner had to come to a stop because our truck's been in storage for the last six months. But now the owner has called me and said he's ready to get back on it. Okay, should I charge them storage fees? Uh, you know, it's been taking up a lot of fucking space. But no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to charge storage fees. Okay, we're not going to charge any storage fees on the truck. Because it's a working, in-process type truck, okay? And my friend Pete, your friend Pete, helps everybody out. But, the situation we have is, is that... Customers will be charged to do the job, okay? Do you understand? All right, okay? Now, when I write an estimate up, it's pretty much itemized down to the T, okay? It's even got the price of nuts and bolts on the estimate. Because what the problem is, is people will come over here and they'll say, how much to do this? How much to, hell, I don't fucking know. I can give you the labor cost. I, you know, we can get that pretty accurate, but I, I mean, you know, I'm going to take your course report off your car and all the bolts and uh, nuts are going to be rotted and rusted. So am I supposed to buy those out of my fucking labor money? You see what I'm saying? So my estimates and my uh, uh, invoices are accurately down to the last penny. Uh, let's go over an estimate. Let's just go over what we... We were working pretty good on this truck. Uh pretty strong on it and then uh, kind of went to a uh, halt. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, the bottom dollar on this job, and this doesn't count wheels and tires and miscellaneous stuff we don't have, the bottom dollar that the customer has already spent, and I want to I want to say this very loud and clear, I want to say this very, very loud and clear, when I give you this price, that doesn't mean that's how much money I fucking made. See, that's where a lot of people get confused. That's where a lot of people get confused because they think, oh, well, you made $17,000. No, I didn't fucking make $17,000 fucking dollars. And I'm going to break it down to you and show you exactly what I mean. So as of today, now this is everything that I added that it's going to take to finish this truck just to get it driving, okay? To get it driving where he can actually drive the car and go anywhere. That doesn't mean the paint job and brand new bed and a brand new fucking, you know, we still got to install a, a top on it because the top's rusted and rotted. This is just getting it running, okay? It's 17,454, no, $17,598.62. So we got the complete uh, front suspension. That's the Mustang front suspension that I had to purchase. Well, that was $1,899 just for that kit, okay? 
Then we had the motor mount blocks. Okay, it was $105. Okay. Then we had a rear four-link setup, which we didn't use. We ended up taking that back, so we all we used is the shocks on it. But if I would have uh, installed that, that would have cost $675. Now what I did, I took that money, I returned the parts I didn't use, and I adjusted the cost by taking labor money off. Okay, we got the brake combo valve. We've got the master cylinder booster, 20 circuit wire harness, $200. Uh, master cylinder power booster, 428. Okay. Uh, let's see. The labor for above items that was installing all the suspension and the motor. Okay, motor and transmission install and front and rear suspension. Okay, was three thousand dollars. Okay, that took uh, to do all that job took approximately three months, off and on, three to four months. Okay. Then we got shipping and handling on parts. We got large bolt rotors. Okay, that was $175. The fuel tank alone was $570. Okay, coil over shocks. Okay, the rear coil over shocks for this vehicle cost $477. Okay, uh, we got sandblast the frame. That's an outside fucking uh, outside repair. That was $375. Sandblast the firewall was another $125. Okay, uh, the I did a steering column, $334. Okay. Floor mount bracket, uh, 2520, whatever the fuck that is. We got the steering knuckles. You know, you got several of those ranging from $125, uh, 65 bucks to $125. We got metal products were $22. Uh, two carriage bolts at 88 cents a piece, okay? Transmission cooler, uh, nuts and bolts, 1041. Nuts and bolts, 1155. Metal products, 2852. Some of the parts don't have tax because you uh, get to, when you order stuff online, or order stuff, you know, via mail, okay, UPS, you don't pay taxes. But if you buy it in town, you have to pay taxes. We got the combo brake valve kit, line fittings, okay? That was $32, just for the lines. Just for the little fittings to hook all the shit up. Okay, it was $32.47, okay? Uh, line clamps, 12 of them at $1.89, okay? It's pretty precise. It's pretty fucking uh, right down to the last fucking penny. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why we do that, okay? Because when we get to the last page, because this invoice is already up to 10 pages, when we get to the last page, this is what you see, okay? Right? You see that figure right there? Do you know why you make an itemized, detailed receipt? Because they don't look at that. They, uh, when I say they, I'm talking about the customers, okay? They don't realize all the parts. Okay, there's 10 pages of parts here, and probably uh, out of that $17,000, I named two fucking things that I got paid for labor. I got paid for all the full suspension and motor transmission installation and painting the frame and the firewall, okay? It was approximately $3,600. $3,600 to install that. Now, we also have some more labor in here because I've actually been sitting at the computer for the last three hours adding everything up that it will cost to finish his truck. Now, we still don't have any wheels for this truck, and we still don't have tires, and we still got to get a front end alignment, and we still got to get the computer check, and... Uh, we still got to get all the brakes working, stuff like that, okay? I mean, you know, look at here, here you go. Uh, wiper motor seal, one. Okay, I need one of those. Uh, costs $4.95. Wiper motor bushing, I need two of them at $7.55. On a 1961 GMC slash Chevy truck, when you take the front end off it, do you think those nuts and bolts are still going to be good? No, they're not. Now. We also put a notation at the bottom because we like to let our customers know what the fuck's going on here, see? Because I'm an honest fucking guy. Okay, I'm an honest motherfucker trying to make a living at pennies on the fucking dollar. Okay? Let's see what we got here. We got above parts are must have items to complete this project as discussed previously. That means that I specifically sit down over in the clown chair there behind me I don't mean to say 
that the customer's a clown. I'm just saying that Charlie the Clown is behind them. Don't take that person. No. Thank you. Okay. I specifically go in detail with the customer what he wants, how he wants it, where he wants it. Okay. So that's why it says previous. This is a professional written estimate invoice for a customer. I am a professional. Take my fucking advice and use it. If I show you how to do something, I am serious. If I cuss and holler, so fucking what? Okay? If I give you some advice about life and what you should do with your life to get your life on track, use the advice I give you. Because it comes straight from my heart. Not from my fucking ass. I am not wasting my time here talking to you and telling you what the fuck is going on. My name's Pete. That's my little pal Bruno. And we're here all the time working. Take it easy. Have a great fucking day. Because it's 22 degrees out in Dallas and it's time to go to work. Just another example of what it takes to do shit the right way. Tell him, Bruno. Tell him what the fuck's going on. Exactly.